What's up everyone, welcome back. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel where we talk about all things volleyball. All right guys, quick update from here in Poland. The season is in full swing. We have had three matches since my last video. The first was against the Ostrzewski Vigil in the Polish Plus Liga Super Cup, a game of the rematch from the finals last season where unfortunately, we lost three sets to two. We lost 15-13 in the fifth set. Such a close match, but great fight by us. Unfortunately, we just did not get the job done in the end. We then played against Trefl Gdansk at home where we won 3-0. And then in our last match, unfortunately, we lost to Aseko Rosovia 3-0 as well. And we are currently sitting at four and three in the Polish Plus Liga. All right, you guys, so for today's video, we're gonna be going back to the 2022 FIVB Men's VNL. Been watching a couple of matches of ours from this tournament, but we're gonna skip ahead just a little bit to the semi-final, USA against Poland. This was just an insane game. We're gonna be watching the end of the second set. Let's get into it. So before we get into this game right here, which I'm so excited to watch, Playing against Poland is always an interesting matchup. First of all, they're the number one team in the world. Insanely talented, always gonna be a tough, tough matchup. They're just so good. And second of all, last season in Poland, I played against four of these guys. Three guys that are on the court in this set and one that's in the box or on the bench. So it's a little bit of a personal rivalry, kind of a fun game, tough game, but always an interesting matchup for me playing with and against these guys in Poland. So, okay. Let's go. All right, Poland's up 16-14. Kohanowski serving, middle blocker for Rosovia, who we just played against. Nice plat pass by TJ. Tip, go. Back. Nice block move by Jeff there. Another cover. Poland is so good at covering, and then these high ball attacks. Look at this set. Shliva, what? That's insane. I just have, look at this set. Back set, 25 feet. Kyle, put it on the money. All right, a little bit off the net there. What is happening? Oh gosh, finally. That's an insane game, How insane rally. How many covers did Poland have there? I think three, four. That's what Poland does. If they don't have the best swing at the ball, they love to play it into the block, get a recycle, get a rebound, cover it, and then run a high ball, maybe a quick attack that's maybe in better rhythm, better position where they can attack the ball. Luckily there, Jeff Jenjic was an animal touching all of those blocks. We got them out of system just a little bit, got them to pass the ball over the net, and Jeff put it away on the overpass. 15-16, Aaron serving. They're going four man just like we do in reception. Did you guys see that? Watch the shift left, right here. So Kurik is playing. Go, Eric Semenyuk, last year's Champions League MVP. Look at this. We're taking so much angle there, but he just hits high hands. Maybe if I was faster, I could have gotten that, but pretty impossible to get. Nice play by them. 17-15, Kurik serving. He plays in Japan. Wow, that was a bomb. TJ gets it in, nice play. Oof. What I love about this play, and it's from Poland, is this touch right here. It's not a difficult touch for Alexander Slivka, my teammate here, to put this ball on the money, but he does. And that's really important because you can see we're just all out of sorts here because that ball is perfect to the net. Janusz has perfect opportunity to set everyone. He goes back. Our block is all over the place. We don't know where to go on defense, and that's all because of that touch. And also starting with that good serve. So great play there by Poland. I think talking about that serve, that was just a bomb. Like, you go back in this video, you can see that was probably around 72, 75 miles an hour. What TJ does is that he just tries to get it up. Instead of getting aced, he tries to put it up and somewhere in the court where we can play it. So he did a good job of that. What we didn't do a great job of was putting that set closer to the net. Granted, it was kind of a scramble, but in general, we want to put that ball closer to the net on the the set so we can attack it a little bit better. All right, pulling up 18-15. Correct, took something off of it. Okay, okay. Nice play, let's watch this pass. So obviously this wasn't the hardest serve, but what it did do, it dropped. And luckily I just got my hips down low enough, my platform there, kept it solid to get that ball to the net. Shoulders were forward. And then we want rerun the Bic, which Aaron Russell crushed. You could see Poland's defense all coming in, but with basically no block up there, he's gonna put it away. 16-18. Jeff, float down the line, good pass. But like, how do you stop this? 
Look at that back set. I don't even know where that went on the block. Pause. Maybe outside of TJ's left hand because he makes a slight move in. But that is such a hard ball to block and to dig because Kudik is one of the best opposites in the world. It's so powerful. Hard to stop there. 1916 Poland, Semenyuk serving. Out. He doesn't do that often, so we will take it. 1719, Micah serving. Nice serve. See, see that pass there? That's a pretty hard serve to make perfect on reception. So Semenyuk, I know, I know him. He's not happy with this pass. But in general, if you can just pop it up like this to the middle of the court, it gives your team an option to play offense, which you can see here, Poland gets a high ball swing. Our block is not perfect there. You can see Eric TJ's a little bit late getting there, which obviously we probably thought it was going to occur because every other ball does. And then Schliefka hits high, but fortunately for us, he misses the block. But in general there, you can see Poland had a great swing and that's all because off of that tough serve, they put it to the middle of the court and they were able to run their offense. Just putting a little bit of pressure on us there. 18, 19. Micah serving again. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna float? Is he gonna jump? I think he was feeling pretty good. Going to the jump to one, three meters. Where? That's a pretty good block. Maybe this went right through TJ. <gasps> I think it did. I think it went right. You could see TJ spread block there. Super wide. And I'm pretty sure it just went right through his hands. All right, 2018, Bianyak serving. One of the best servers in the world. Oof. If not the best, we'll take that one, trust me. 1920, TJ serving. Took something off of it, but went right into the seam. Great serve. Nice block touch, okay. Run it. And through the block. Woo, first of all, this serve. So TJ has the ability to hit it around 75, 76 miles an hour. But what he, on this play, he takes a little bit off of it, but you can see it's right in the middle there. So both passers are going for the ball and it just creates a little bit more pressure for the receivers here, which brings it a little bit left, a little bit off the net. So maybe our block can get a pretty good read there. So that's a great serve. And then we get a block up here. Great touch, look at that block formation. Great, even on Couric, I mean, you just try to get a little bit of a touch there to slow it down. They slow it down just enough for me to push off with my left leg and get this dig. You can see, boom, push off, get my arms on it. And then we set the ball tight. Kyle goes up, tips it to the middle of the court. <sighs> nice, great play by us. Started with that great serve. And then I love that set by Micah, putting it high and tight for Kyle to just tip it down. All right, 20 all. Woo, how did we come back there? What? Short, taking out the bick, a little bit tight. Nice, who's going, who's going? Micah, high ball. He definitely wants that set tighter. Nice play. I'm pretty sure I was in shock on that play. But it all starts with this serve, which takes the bick out. You can see TJ goes short here, which means Semenuk needs to move up, which is a great tactic for servers. He moves up, bick is out, gets a little bit tight. Kyle there with a the great block touch. I know Micah wants this set tighter. He said about three meters, but it's okay. We make them play. Nice up by Zatorski, we get one on one. I finally make a move off the line there. Get a dig. I'll just pat myself on the back for that one. That was one of my better digs ever, basically. And then Dave here. That ball was about 90 feet, in, uh, 60, 70, I don't know. Feet in the air, spinning. And then David just puts a perfect ball up and Kyle hits it to the corner. Can't get much better by that. You can see David being like, how did I even set that ball? But I'm pretty sure only David Smith could do that. That was insane. And then Kyle with a great shot. But I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied with the dig. 21-20, we're up now. TJ again. 4 all is in for Schliefka. Ooh, we try to help on this bick. You can see we didn't take the bick out with the short serve. So Semenuk goes. We try to help, but he sneaks it through. I mean, the bick is pretty impossible to stop sometimes. All right, Butrin in for Janusz for a serving sub here. Butrin plays in Olsztyn here in Poland. One of the top opposites, one of the best servers. Let's see what he does. Rips it to TJ and TJ makes an amazing reception there. I remember talking to TJ before this play. He played with Butrin just the season before this match. So he knew that it was coming. I knew that it was coming strong. Let's see the technique here. 
Look at that. Arms are out, pretty good platform, stays in front of it. His shoulders just come back a little bit, but that's to keep the ball off the net. With this serve, about 70 miles an hour, sometimes you have to keep your shoulders back to pop the ball up. If you keep them too far forward, it might shoot over the net. So TJ does a great job there. Two and a half meters there, which in, in this situation is a perfect pass. And Dave runs the quick attack from Micah. Micah feeds him all day, of course, and he puts it away. I remember that was a huge, huge side out for this match, especially on a server like that, when it's about 21 all, about 21. It was 21 all, and we just really needed that side out to you know, go up and feel confident moving forward in this set. Now we have our serving sub in, Kyle Russell, 22-21, what does he do here? Woo, gets him very much out of system. Look at that, look at that high ball set by Fornal. He just came into the game. Poland is so good at out of system setting. Puts it on the money. We get a great block touch. Jeffrey is on fire. So first of all, just look at this serve. Look at the curve it has. Kyle puts such weird spin on the ball sometimes. <laughs> high ball, Fornal sets to Kirk, who took something off of it, but we get a great touch. TJ puts it right on the money, which we love. And then Jeff gets up in transition. Middles, watch this footwork by Jeff to get up here. Look at that, one, two, one, two, three. Whatever it was, gets up quick, gets the back one for the point. Kyle serving again, 23-21. Perfect pass by Zatorski. Kohanovsky, that's what happens. Maybe he took something off of it, nah. Zatorski just made a perfect pass. Look at this technique, so simple. Notes being taken, look at this. Barely moves at all. Arms are out, shoulders are forward, my laundry is going in the background. And then Kochanovsky just slicing and dicing. He hit me right in the face last game, that was fun. And they hit the side out. Okay, four and all serving, 22-23. Tough to come right into the match and serve, but he tries, put some pace on it, put some heat, tries to go to area five, six. Puts it in the net, which was a sigh of relief for us. And sing serving, set point. Oh! So Kyle puts a good serve here. Puts it in the seam, but Fornal's a very good passer. A little bit off, a little bit out of system, but it's okay. Poland can run their offense. And then Kirk. Look at that turn down the line. So all I remember about this point is that I should have been deeper. The last couple of digs that I got down the line, I was probably two, three feet deeper into the court. This one, I thought he was gonna chop it because he was a little bit out of rhythm here and going wrist away, shoulder out but I get a little bit tight. He rockets it at my face, where if I had been two feet deeper, probably would've hit me in the chest or the platform, but I just didn't get my hands up strong enough, quick enough to make that dig, so. <laughs> but it's okay, I remember being like, move on, this pass, doesn't matter what happened in that point, get, try to get this pass. So we're still up 24-23 with the chance to side out. Kohanovsky, oh, not my best pass. What? And then, yes, might go with the buck. So on this pass, let's see. You can see I didn't really angle my shoulders. I face pretty much right where he's coming from, which brings the ball back more to area four, area five, because I didn't create that angle. I just remember not feeling that solid with that pass. You can see my feet kind of came up, my platform came in. I didn't really angle my shoulders, but okay. It was a tough serve, probably not the toughest that he could have brought, but it's okay, in this situation, I fought it off. Three meters, three meters sometimes is okay. <laughs> Trying to tell myself it's okay. We go back to Kyle, he hits it down the line. Kohanovsky with the sick dig, you can see he just bodies it up here. Comes off the line, sick up. So I didn't realize this set was a little bit off the net. Kirk calls the ball off from Janusz. I think he definitely wants this set back. You can see it's about two meters off the net, where in general, he probably wants it one meter off the net. Semenyuk tries to go high off the hands from Micah, but Micah shut down blocker, it gets the block. So great dig by Kohanovsky. I definitely think Kirk wants to set back in this situation. And then Semen, he goes for a great shot there, but Micah, gotta give him credit, gets over, uses that strong right hand. Let's see, let's see his right hand here. Look at that, he brings it in like this to bring the ball back. We get the block, 
Huge side out. We win that set 25-23 to go up in the match two sets to zero. All right, you guys, what an exciting set. What an exciting match to look back at and rewatch. We ended up winning the match three sets to zero. And last summer we played Poland four times and that was the only time we beat them. So great match, VNL semifinals. With that win, we advanced to the VNL finals, which I'll probably watch in our next video. But overall, great match, so exciting. And I enjoyed rewatching that with you all just now. I don't really remember how or why or what was the reason we were able to win that match but watching that portion of set two and I also know from set three is that we served really well we were able to put a lot of pressure on Poland I think in the third set TJ went back and he had four or five aces to run away with that third set so anytime you can put great serves into the court against Poland get them out of system make their middles a little bit less of a factor because they are two of the best in the world it's definitely going to be to our advantage so we weren't able to do that quite as well in the other three matches that we played against Poland, but for this one, we were able to do that and win the match 3-0. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you learned a little bit. I know that I did. More matches to be watched with you all. I cannot wait, but as usual, get out, play some volleyball if you can, have some fun, and I'll see you all soon. Peace.